previously. And it's a I know. Lady. Shut up. I know it's an ED Warrior Lady. You can't fool me. On Progression Series Season 2. Lamo, my ring of destruction for game. Yeah, easy as it gets Wonder. for you. All right. Oh, bro. I, I felt like an easy one, bro. Damn. Oh, that was a Lord. close one. That was a really good one. That was a nail what is biter. This? What? It's a zero attack monster. I ain't even got to worry about it, right? In this series, both Nim Nim and myself will be opening 24 booster packs or one box of a core Yu-Gi-Oh booster set. We will build a deck and play a best two out of three, and the winner will receive a small prize to upgrade their deck. However, However, in each episode, we will open another box of the next set that was released moving in chronological order, constantly upgrading our decks before dueling each other at the end of each episode. But this time around, we'll be introducing side sets, a new banning system, and plenty of other fun surprises that you'll just have to watch to find out. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series Season 2. What's going on guys, it's Simo. If you missed out on the opportunity to pick up your season one progression series playmat, then do I have some good news for you. This week only, to celebrate Thanksgiving and Black Friday, the season one progression series playmat is on sale right now. Again, for this week only, this is the only time it will be discounted. There's a few hundred of these left and there will not be another print run. So this is the best opportunity for you to pick up this mat if you haven't already. Thank you all so much for the overwhelming support for the progression series over the years. Happy Thanksgiving to you you and yours, and I hope you enjoy today's episode. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, today is a particularly exciting episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series 2 because Crimson Crisis is today's set, and if you know anything about that or the history of this show, you know that this is the set that introduces Black Wings. But we'll get to that more in a moment. First, we have to redeem our wheel for a winning previous episode, and man, if you didn't think that was exciting enough, I mean, the wheel's already going to just set the tone for the rest of this episode, so let's see what we get. Okay, uh, hopefully this doesn't set the tone for the rest of the episode because a rare wild card out of Duelist Pack Yusei, I don't even think there's anything that we want to take out of the last set. Yeah, that's unfortunate. It would have been nice if we got the super rare slot because at least we could have nabbed ourselves another copy of Stardust Dragon since we only pulled one, but it is what it is. I'm pretty sure I have three ofs of all of these or at least all the ones that matter. So I, I guess I will take another Junk Warrior and probably never play it since it's like my ninth copy. But let's throw it on over to Gage so he can tell you all about today's episode, Crimson Crisis. The last few weeks of the progression series number two have been extremely back and forth between me and Alex. We're now on a two loss streak, one more and we get a free trip to the banning, but I'm not looking to make that happen. I have an idea put together that Alex will surely not see coming, but today let's talk about Crimson Crisis, released March 3rd, 2009. Crimson Crisis is another big booster set deeper into the 5Ds era. Lots of really, really good high quality monsters in this set that we're going to be wanting to keep an eye out for. The secret rares are nothing too special. You've got Ido, which has come up like occasionally in branded decks recently and through some weird gimmicky stuff throughout time. Tethys is kind of in the same vein you guys ever see like Tethys draw type decks. All these secret rares, they're all nothing too special. But you look at all the other cards in different rarities and that's where the set starts to shine. Super rares, we have the extremely powerful Dark Strike Fighter responsible for many FTKs. If we do pull the fighter today, we'll be playing it before its recent errata, so the card's actually insane. Be nice to pick one of those up. Arcanite Magician is also a great level 7 uh, for this early on in the Synchro era. Black Salvo is also an extremely powerful card when you pair it with Dekoichi. Unfortunately, I don't have any Dekoichis in my deck, so we won't be able to make any free level 7s with Black Salvo. Onto the rares, there are so many bangers. Debris Dragon is incredible. Blackwing Gale the Whirlwind is one of the best tuners in the game at this time. Gladiator Beast Sam Knight would be crazy if we had, you know, Best Yari. But we don't. Even Hyper Synchron is a pretty good level 4 tuner. There's a lot to offer in the rare slot for Crimson Crisis. I definitely want to get a couple copies of Gale, though. The card is just that powerful. Being able to stack up near uh, Stardust Dragon, uh, just having it and being able to attack over it. 
just extremely powerful card back in the day. The Ultra Rares, I'm only looking for one guy there. Blackwing Armor Master pairs perfectly with Gale the Whirlwind, just being able to have a great level 7 to go into. And this level 7, I think it can topple over anything in battle pretty much. Meh, in a way it can do that. But anyways, Blackwing Armor Master is just a great 7 to be able to pair with Gale. Definitely want to grab a copy of this. Commons, obviously this is the debut of Black Wings, man. The bane of my existence last season. Keep your eyes out on these, we'll definitely be seeing them later, but we don't get cards like Kalut or Shura until Raging Battle. Doot Frog and Flip Flop Frog are also extremely good to pair with Subs to Toad. And of course, you can't forget the best field spell in the game, Verdant Sanctuary. Crimson Crisis is a big one. I'm stoked to open this. I'd like to get a lot of things in this set. Like Dark Strike Fighter would be crazy. Gale the Whirlwind, I want one of those guaranteed. We could build a lot of nasty stuff with this set today. First things first, though, we are in the loser circle. We've got three packs of Champion Pack 8 to open. Again, Nothing good in Champion Pack 8. I'm really just hoping for, like, the Monarchs or something. But the Mushroom Man coming in clutch, dude. Look at that guy. Yeah, I mean, this is honestly what I expect to see. Something along those lines. <laughs> Wondering if there's ever anything good in Champion Pack 8. We'll take them, whatever. Not the thing we're looking at today. 24 packs of Crimmy Crisis. Let's see what we can get. Hopefully a couple gales. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 24 packs, Crimson Crisis. Let's do it. I will say I have like seven redoer tickets, I believe, because I've been saving them up throughout the series. This may be a set that I want to burn one, depending on how good the Blackwing pulls look. Let's flip up pack number one, see if we get anything worth discussing. Debris Dragon's not a terrible one. I think Gage had this in season one, and maybe I didn't, but his favorite field spell, Verdant Sanctuary, is making an appearance. So the nice thing about Sirocco as well as Bora is that they're both commons. Gale is a rare which is kind of annoying. And then also we have cards like Armor Master as well that we need to look out for. But one Sirocco down, happy to see it. There's our first super rare in Turret Warrior. Man, the throwbacks to Sealed Showdown are real. This card was actually a force in that episode. But uh, we're about a quarter of the way through. And aside from that one Sirocco, we haven't really gotten much else. Okay, here's the type of pack I want to see. Sirocco and Bora. Again, I'd like to see a Gale and an Armor Master in here to some degree, but at least we're getting the good commons. Another super rare in Alien Kid, not the hollows we're looking for. We still need the rest of those commons. Uh, in motto, though, the all-star of the previous uh, sealed showdown, man, that was hilarious. Pack number one, Crimson Crisis. Flip them up, Assault Beast, and a super rare Turret Warrior right off the bat. Turret Warrior is nothing too special, man. I'd rather just play the tricky. <laughs> I'd honestly just rather play the tricky. Oh, second pack in, Arcanite Magician. Extremely sick card. If we pull Gale, that's the perfect tuner. Uh, honestly, any level four spellcaster monster will do the trick. Cards like Summoner Monk is an obviously shoe in to be able to make Arcanite Magician. This guy is just like targeted removal. He's pretty good, man. I like it. Ooh, <laughs> the, the ultimate rare, Doom Kaiser Dragon Assault Mode. I will never summon this thing ever, bro. I don't even like the artwork of him, man. I like the OG Doom Kaiser. This assault mode just looks kind of wacky, creepy. I don't know. Gale the Whirlwind. I needed at least one copy of it because it does get limited in due time, but I definitely wanted to grab my one. There's the one, pack number five. It's been good so far. Another super rare, Armoroid. I, I remember seeing this thing like vaguely in packs, but I don't think it's good. Tribute a Roid monster. Banish all spells and traps. I mean, it's not terrible if we were playing Roids, but we don't have any sort of a Roid deck to build. Whatever. Okay, uh, that is an ultimate rare, although it is an ultimate rare we are probably never going to summon Hyper Psychic Blaster Assault Mode. I think it's pretty sad when I'm more excited about the common Bora than the ultimate rare. Totem Dragon's not a bad one. I'm not really sure we can build any sort of like Disaster Dragon type deck because I'm pretty sure we're missing a lot of the cards to be able to build that, but nice little throwback. Well, I guess if we wanted to summon the Assault Mode Hyper Psychic Blaster, we just pulled ourselves the original Hyper Psychic Blaster. There's no no shot we are doing that. All right, so thankfully, I think this rounds out our copies of Sirocco and Bora, but we still haven't pulled a Gale, and that's a rare. I think we've pulled like six alien ammonites and like six of this Shining Silver Force card, so hopefully we can turn that around here in the last few. Another super rare. I guess we're about on rate for getting hollows in this set. Twilight Rose Knight. Again, not a particularly strong card, and uh, we only got about five-ish packs left to go. Still don't have a Gale, and even though we pulled our commons of Sirocco and Bora, if if we don't have Gale, this is going to be really rough. All right, you guys, only a few packs left. And uh, like I said, we've gotten the commons that we're looking for, but we have not pulled a Gale, nor did we pull an Armor Master, which I guess we didn't have Armor Master in season one, so it wasn't the end of the world. I think that's like my seventh copy of Arcane Apprentice, so really don't appreciate that. Let's see what we get in our second to last pack here, as soon as it decides to load. Planet Pollutant Virus got blown out by that in, I believe, History of Jank or Sealed Showdown, or both probably. Last pack, can we nab a Gale? 
fail at the least. And no, of course, we get the good old Flying Fortress Skyfire, the MBT special. So now we have a decision to make. It doesn't seem impossible to pull like three Sirocco, three Bora again, but obviously it's not guaranteed, which is what frightens me. I think I only pulled three Bora. I think I have like five Sirocco's, but I'm nervous because without Gale, the Blackwing strategy loses a lot of its luster because Gale is a tuner. Gale is a nice way to remove stuff, especially because we both have Stardust. I'm going to have to think about this. So I'm checking on Gale's printings. I can do without Armor Master. Plus it's an ultra, so I'm not like expecting to pull it, but Gale gets printed in Crimson Crisis and then it doesn't get printed again until Gold Series 3, which I guess isn't too far off because we're at the beginning of 2009 and this is the middle of 2010. Problem is Gold Series 3, it's a gold rare, so that's not even guaranteed to like be a pull there. I think we're most likely guaranteed to get it in Duelist Pack Crow because it's a rare and we pull 30 packs of Duelist Packs, but that's not until 2011. So that would be two years of the timeline in progression series before we actually get access to Gale almost guaranteed. So having it for this first, you know, several like 10, 20 episodes before this, I think it's going to be a huge advantage. So I'm actually going to go ahead and respin this and we're going to do another 24 packs because I think we need Gale. Hyper Psychic Blaster. Again, this, uh, this is a card that looks so unbelievably cool, but it is something that I don't think we'll get the opportunity to play. One tuner plus one or more non-tuner psychic monsters is a little bit actually restrictive considering there's not a lot of psychics in the game to be able to work with. It's not even that good. It's not even that good. It is one of the earliest level nine synchros though. That's about all it's got going for it. Debris Dragon. I was looking for at least one copy of this bad boy here and I'm glad I got it. That's awesome. Perfect to pair with Lone Fire Blossom, which we actually have two of this time around in progression series. Could come in handy. I think there's a lot we can do with Debris Dragon. Wow, that's an, <laughs> that's an alien pack right there. Ammonite and Kid. Ammonite is extremely like important because it's used to make the Golgari synchro which we didn't get yet, so I think that'd be the only thing piecing this alien deck together. But Kid is also extremely good, too. Again, if we could pull Golgari, we could actually build, like, aliens. But unless we get him, it's not even something we can consider. Six packs left, it's possible. It's possible. Wow, dude, I gotta get the Golgari now with the Code A Ancient Ruins. I'll play. Don't tempt me. I will play those aliens. All right, 24 more packs. Let's see if I regret it. First pack, nothing too great. The only way that this gets conceivably worse is if I don't pull play sets of the common black wings, which is possible. But again, I think it's highly unlikely to happen. And again, as long as I see a Gale, I'll be extraordinarily happy. Oh, you know what? That's not a bad super rare either. Black Salvo. This one's actually playable, although it does require a bit of building around for, but this is not a bad card at all. Well, we nabbed an ultra, but again, it's not the ultra we want. Life Force Harmonizer. Holy shit, this is such a bad card. Uh, Could have been Armor Master, but yeah, it is what it is. Interesting to note, I think this is my second Debris Dragon, if this is ever relevant. I mean, that's cool and all, but again, I wish I'd have two copies of Gale instead, if I'm being honest. I think we're good on Sirocco's. I think I still need one or two more Boras. Okay, Dark Strike Fighter in the super rare slot. It's not Gale, but you know what? Dark Strike Fighter is not bad either. Remember, we do play with pre errata cards until they get errata later. And this card is incredibly annoying because this is like a Gaga -ga -ga Cowboy for our series. I'll definitely take that. I will say we haven't seen Gale yet. We have about 10 packs to go, but I think our super rare luck, we've definitely traded up for sure. If we can get the commons, even if we don't get Gale, I feel like this was still worth using the redoer ticket. What's so frustrating is that I'm I'm seeing cards like Assault Beast in multiples. I think this is like my third copy of this card. And while that's like cool and all, if this was three Gales, oh my God, that would have been infinitely better. All right, coming up on the very last two packs of Crimson Crisis. Can we get anything in the big? Verdant Sanctuary, say less, say less. The opening could not be better, let me tell you. All right, last one. If I get the Golgari, I'll play the aliens. I will, I will find an alien list and I will put it together. Any luck? No, but there's an alien overlord in there. I can't actually complain. I got everything I wanted from Crimson Crisis, right? I got the Arcanite Magician, which is a great level 7. I got myself a Gale the Whirlwind, which was a mandatory pull I needed this time around. And honestly, I got Debris Dragon, which was the other rare I was looking for. Probably missed some of the higher end stuff like Armor Master, but I'm okay with that. I got everything that I wanted in the rare slot for this time around, which is sometimes all you can ask for. I'm not going to spend a redoer ticket. I'm going to save this to the collection. Let's get building today. Let's see what's up.
Oh, we got Gale. Thank God. Okay, pack 20. I guess this is actually technically pack 44 because we had to respin, but thank you. All right, this was 100% worth it. Now we've got the Gale. I think we're missing one Bora. So if I can see that in the next few packs, I'd be very happy about that. The Sirocco's are definitely on lock. We got the Dark Strike Fighter and the Black Salvo potentially as well. Infinitely better Crimson Crisis opening. And you know what? We'll take it. Dimension Fortress Weapon. This card is awful, but it's very funny. And another Hollow. Back to back. Armoroid. This card is awful though. Only a couple packs left. So let's see what we get here in the close. I think we've got basically everything we're looking for. That's our last Bora. Fantastic. I was really getting nervous because only two Bora is actually sort of a big deal. But we've got that in the bank now. Happy to see it. Last pack. Anything good in the close here, I will take. If I can get an Armor Master, that would be the best Crimson Crisis opening imaginable. We just got the fucking ghost rare. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. Well, never playing that, but I mean, I guess that's a way to end this opening. Another Bora in case we needed it, but I'm pretty sure we're good on the play set. We've got everything we could have wanted. Uh, almost and more. Uh, I would say and more if you want to count the ghost rare. Let's get the building, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be a great episode. Yeah. We're going there. Alex has wanted to play unfair Yu-Gi-Oh! recently with his final countdown deck. We've been bringing a whole bunch of fair decks to the table to play some good Yu-Gi-Oh! But this time, I'm feeling a little bit nasty. Today we're going to be playing our own variant of Chain Burn, starring Fiber Jar to be able to reset the game and give us back our most powerful trap cards. There's a few of the Goat Burn spells that we're missing, like Just Desserts and stuff, but with three copies of Secret Barrel, three copies of Reckless Greed to be able to use, I feel like we have something pretty interesting here. Also, Fiber Jar, remember this card is 100% forbidden at this point, and it's never been flipped in the progression series. I have a hard time believing Alex is going to be able to see this coming, and it might be able to reset a game and allow us to win through some burn cards. Good Goblin House Housekeeping looks like a shitty card in here, but when you pair it with a card like Painful Choice, being able to dump them from your deck to the graveyard and then just flip one for a plus three seems pretty strong. We got a little floater package too of Mystic Tomatoes into Nidorias and Sangins to be able to search out the best parts of the deck being Jars. Tomato into Nidoria also outs something weird like Jinzo if Alex chooses to play it. The side deck is just filled with a whole bunch of good dudes, by the way. Uh, Arcana Force the Fool here, this guy just is like Spirit Reaper, can't be destroyed, but if he's face up, uh, you can flip a coin and essentially have a 50-50 chance of negating any card effect that would target it. That's if I just raw summon it. Nova Summoner gets the Fool from the deck, and also Spirit Reaper can just do the same kind of thing where it just sits there and doesn't get destroyed by battle. Keeps us alive for a few turns to hopefully get us to some more valuable burn cards. We got a little Scientist package here in the extra deck. I'm a little bit unsure of Scientist utility at this point in Yu-Gi-Oh. Alex has Thousand Eyes Restrict, which is really, really good. It also makes Magical Scientist some removal. On our side, we just have a whole bunch of guys that we can summon off of it. Dark Bolter can negate normal spells. Ryu Senshi can negate traps. And then this guy can uh, banish cards from the graveyard. Scientist is going to allow us to hopefully pull out some damage if we can just summon it and contest a board that Alex has put out. Um, I don't see a lot of utility in Scientist, but this is what I was recommended to put in the list, so we'll see how it goes today. As you can see, we don't have any Crimson Crisis cards in this deck, but that's okay. We'll revisit it next week. I think there's a lot to offer with Raging Battle, especially to pair with all the black wings that we got this episode. I also think if I want to throw Alex off his game, this is the deck that's going to do it. He's going to 100% expect me to play some of the most powerful tuners of all time, like Gale. This deck doesn't have any of those, so we'll see if he expects it. Let's see what he's doing today. So I think there's only one last opportunity to try this deck out because I think in the next set or the one after, there's a new ban list that's in effect. And so as a result, we can't play this deck exactly the same, but I figured there is some fun stuff I wanna try out here. So let's go ahead and see what happens. So this is what I'm calling dark synchro, if you will. So I don't have the best synchro pool because we're missing stuff like Goyo Guardian. Honestly, I really could use an iron chain, but you know, it is what it is. But in any case, uh, we're just playing like a good stuff dark deck deck that just has access to a lot of crazy stuff that you're seeing here. So let's do the card by card. So we're playing the good old Black Salvo because we do have a Dark 4 machine in the form of Dekoichi. We have two of them, as a matter of fact. So at any point, if we need to Black Rose the field or go into Dark Strike Fighter, Sangan can search us Black Salvo, get this back, and we go into one of our sevens, and we may just win the game off of that. Then we have Gale, which is one of the best tuners in existence. Also a level three tuner, very important because this allows us to access our sevens through our fours that are already on the field. Maybe we summon something off Tomato, etc. Then we have the Breaker. Car Trooper isn't a Dark but it gets stuff into the graveyard that we want there, so it's good enough to fill the slot. Dark Arm Dragon, Double Dekoichi. Of course, we brought the Disc Commander back, and uh, we're taking this to the extreme this episode. Jinzo, Double Crebont, a Magical Scientist, Triple Tomato, a Prometheus to just basically get the graveyard clear in case we get Dad in the late game. Sangen, Snipe Hunter, and Spirit Reaper. Then for the spells, we have Brain Control, Dark Hole, Fisher, Giant True Nade, Harpy's Feather, Duster, one Instant Fusion. I threw one of these in here. It is at three, but I don't want to go too crazy with this. This plus 
almost any tuner means we can access anything in our synchro pool essentially except the eights because this isn't like magical scientists where i can shit out a six with this it's just a five so it can make anything for us essentially which is really cool but i figure having one of it's probably good enough i also don't know where else i'd cut room i guess you know once we get to this part that could be some uh, slots for consideration msc pot of greed premature burial smashing snatch deal and two copies of the semi-limited card of safe return so this card is very banned for a very obvious reason when a monster is special summoned from your graveyard you can draw one card if you have multiple of these active they will each trigger respectively and we are playing several cards that will be able to trigger this not only do we have three copies of graceful revival three copies of limb reverse the premature burial black salvo special summon something from the graveyard as well so we effectively have eight ways to be able to trigger this effect which turns all of our effects that would summon something back from the grave into pluses at the very least this could get out of hand very quickly if we go and limit reverse a disc commander with card of safe return up we're drawing three cards every single time we're bringing this back it's ridiculous and i don't know if it's good but i think it'd be really funny so i want to give it a shot that's it for the spells though then for the traps triple graceful revival a card we got in the you say episode last time and triple limit reverse so both of these cards for all intents and purposes get to disc commander but graceful revival can also get something like krebon since it's level two but limit reverse can get something like sangen or even black salvo because it's less than a thousand attacks so both of these cards also have additional targets outside of just going for disc commander even though this is primarily what we're going for but that's perfectly fine because even if we're still resurrecting things off of them card of safe return is going to draw us more cards anyway then that way if we're getting back a tuner or if we're getting back anything like that it's just going to help fuel our plays to allow us to keep pushing and apply a lot of pressure onto gauge then ring and torrential rounding out our main deck for the extra we have cards that are actually quite relevant so i have a four in dark fire dragon a three in dragoness a five in fiend skull and ojama knight then we have triple steam gyroid for the magical scientist this is for both attacking but also for sinking and of course we have the thousand eyes for interruption as well and then the synchros we have an armory arm a black rose a dark strike fighter a magical android a psychic life transfer red dragon archfiend and stardust dragon then moving on to the side deck i have triple death wombat so last episode gauge was playing some sort of like stealth bird harpy burn bullshit deck and so while this can be outed in battle or by you know anything for that matter if he decides to double back on that strategy again then this is a way to at least not lose to the burn like stealth bird because then he has to at least clear wombat first and we were playing two last time and i have space in the side deck so whatever we're playing the three we have double book triple twister and double dust just for more back removal this came in very handy actually last time double compulse because it's just sort of generically good and triple stack if i need to have just more monster removal and like swap out some of these graceful revivals and limit reverses i can just bring in more removal with this and i think that's perfectly fine so this is gonna be a fun episode i can't wait to see how much crazy synchro action that we're gonna have and you know knowing this deck probably not a ton but we'll see anything's possible ladies and gentlemen let's not make you wait any longer it's time to duel Well, Gage, you are on the verge of a banning, as it seems. Very funny how a reversal of fortune has come your way, where a few weeks ago, I was at risk of going to the banning. I somehow managed to slip out of it. And so, uh, yeah, how are you feeling? These have been some of the best back and forth matches we've had so far. The, the start of the 5Ds era, it's been like extremely back and forth, man. I'm really stoked. I'm not looking to get the free ban. I don't need it, but I'm telling you, I'm looking to crush you today. We'll see how it goes. And let's shout the patron, Dylan Kramer. Thank you for the support. Hopefully, uh, this is going to set the tone for the rest of 5Ds because we're entering Blackwing territory, my friend. And uh, oh, hopefully that doesn't man. set the rest of the tone with me losing rock, paper, scissors. Well, best of luck, buddy. Best of luck, Duelist. I'm going to opt to go second as per usual. We'll see yeah, how you can no get off. No surprise okay? there. All right, let's see what we get in our opening hand. Best of luck, sir. Oh, and would you look at that? Who's smiling? Nah. He's smiling. Let's show yep, a couple. Yep, yep. Haven't seen him in an episode or two. Uh, we will just go ahead and set ourselves one, two, and we'll throw it back. Okay, I will draw. Stand by main. I'm just going to also set one, two. No monster in the mix, though. I will pass it to you, buddy. Okay. A uh, bit of a slower start on your end. That's no problem. Standby good? You're good. Okay, we'll go to main. I guess I will get smashing tomato time. Yep, tomato is cool. 14. I will take it. Okay, and that's going to be it for me. Go ahead. I'll draw. You don't sound too happy over there. Yeah, this is not a tremendous start, I will say. All right, I'll play, um, I'll play dark hole. Do a little bit of cleanup there. All right, tomato gone, and also... The Disc Commander returns, Oh, he's buddy. back. He's back. I hope you don't have the pre-mat in hand. I will cry. <laughs> I'll uh, set one, and I'll add uh, two more to the mix. Go ahead. Your turn, bud. Uh, we don't need pre-mat when we have limit room. Yeah, that, <laughs> oh, that'll fucking do it. Yep. <laughs> uh, disc Commander effect. We'll draw two. Yep, Disc Commander's fine. 
and we'll draw a card. Man, look at all these cards I have in my hand. Oh my goodness. The world is at your disposal right it now. It is. Uh, if only I could actually do something with the rest of the cards in my hand. Shit. All right. I got to think now. I got a lot of choices I could make here. Not particularly great. Uh, I'll just do this. I'm going to set one and uh, that'll put me down to six cards. So I'll just pass. Okay. Uh, I'll draw. Stand by into the main. You peeking into that extra deck over there. What are you up to? <laughs> I might got some plays, man. You don't know me. Uh, okay. Okay. I'm going to absolutely murk you here, bro. I'm sorry. I'm taking okay. you all the way to value town. I'm going to summon Magical Scientist. He's on the scientist. I okay. am on the scientist. I'm going to opt to pay 2,000 for two scientist summons if I if I can, unless you have sure. a spot response. Okay. No response. That's fine. I'll go Bolter. Ooh. And I'll also bring out my man, the Dark Blade, the Dragon Knight. Okay, it's not bad. A little oh, bit of monster shit, he removal. Vanishes. No! <laughs> a little bit of monster removal. I'll set a card, and then Alex, I will flip Morphing Jar for five oh, cards. No! <laughs> yep. Oh, oh um, my god. All right. Well, you hit my scientist, so that's pretty good. What Reaper, do we get here? Reaper. Krebon. That's a lot of dudes. Gale. That's I a did have the pre mat, which is oh. really funny. And uh, wow. smashing ground. So All right. going to draw five. Wow. Huge swing for you there. Big advantage right there. I love it. All right, man. Okay. All right. I'll flip tremendous fire. I'll deal a thousand life points to you and 500 to me. What? <laughs> That's a lot of damage, bro. You better. Come on. The clock's ticking. I'll go uh, pot of greed myself for two more. Sure. I, I mean, like, the way that this deck was going, I wasn't expecting to see that of all things in here. Okay. <laughs> sure. I'd say it's a little bit interesting here. Um, Let's see. Okay. Well, I did get rid of your pre mat. So, I mean, it's pretty much fine that I just poke into this disc commander, I think. Okay. I'm going to go battle phase. Sure. I will go dark blade into the disc commander. So, this is 19 that I take here. Yep. And then I'll banish three from your bin. Uh, yes. I'll get rid of the. Uh, this scientist in the Krebons. Yeah, not the disc commander because this works like Kaiku. Balter can't attack directly, but it negates all effect monster effects, so I'll attack over this. How does this work with flip effects? Uh, it just still negates it. It's the effect of an effect monster that just destroys as a result of battles negated. So anything. Oh, wait, but flip it effects. Flips oh. before. What do I you think have? So Fiend, Fiend Skull Dragon stops flip effects specifically. I don't think Balter stops flips. So yeah, we probably I don't think it does. This. Oh, man. So after some uh, research, Dark Balter does in fact negate the flip effects because the effect of Balter activates after, or rather, flip effects happen after damage calc, which is when a monster has already technically been destroyed. And so because of that, even though the monster hasn't been sent to the graveyard yet, Balter's still negating it because it's still technically destroyed it. I fucking love Yu-Gi-Oh. So, I love it, bro. Uh, <laughs> it was Dekoichi. That's the only reason. Okay, all right. You miss out on a draw. That's okay. And then I'll do a thousand direct okay. with the scientist and I'll jar. take the thousand, sure. Dope. I will go to my main phase two. I'll just add a set card to the mix, and I will pass it to you, buddy. Go ahead. End phase, buddy. Get rid of oh, these Oh, they things. do get destroyed. They do not stick around, but hey, man, they I They go care. to your they extra deck. They don't get destroyed. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. So you get to bring them back next turn, potentially, which is, I mean, as if this card couldn't be good enough already. The fact <laughs> you can reuse them is even more stupid. All right. I'll draw. I'll stand by anything. Nope. Nothing in the standby. You're fine. All right. Main one. Now I got to figure out what the fuck I'm going to do about this. You have four billion cards to my six. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. Go. All right. No problem for me, game. bud. We got a game. We got a game on our hands here. I will draw for turn. Stand by main. All good. I also love that our life points are exactly tied right Yeah, now. I guess you could say it's a close game. <laughs> Game, right? <laughs> Looking yeah. at the cardboard state, I it's would disagree. A, doesn't quite look like it, but but hey, you got to believe. Um, let's see here. It doesn't feel good that I'm aggressively doing this, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna activate Reckless Greed, Chain sure. Link One, Chain Fine. Link Two, Jar Greed. What the chain fuck? You're like fucking scientist and burn. Okay. You don't know what I'm doing. You don't know what I'm doing. Keep, keep, keep up. I'll go you chain link. You play tremendous <laughs> fire. I know you're on burn. Yeah, that's fine. I'll go chain link three. Good goblin housekeeping, <laughs> and then uh, chain link Christ. four. Accumulated fortune to Just draw to two draw cards. Draw the two. Okay. Uh, uh, I think I'm gonna I, resolve my chain there if that's okay. I don't think I have a response to this, so. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Okay, so we'll accumulate it up for two. Good goblin housekeeping. I draw one. There's zero in the graveyard, so I draw one and I gotta put one back. Great card. So 
A great card. Uh, and then we'll go Jar of Greed for one. And Reckless and Greed for Reckless two. Reckless Greed for two. Turn off the auto draw. Look at all these cards in my hand, a Alex. Million cards in hand. <laughs> Look at all these cards. I thought man. I was doing the card drawing with the disc commander, but clearly you had a much better plan. Yeah, than I yeah. <laughs> I, I clearly have a little bit more. I'm gonna activate another tremendous fire. I'll deal another Great. thousand to you, five hundred to me. Sure. Cool. Um, nice. I will set one, two, three, and four. All right. Uh, go ahead. It's a lot of cards. That is a lot of cards. I'll draw. All right, let me count this one more time there, because I think I have you. Um, okay. Yep, okay. All right, so during your standby phase, I'll go Secret Barrel. So this will be for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so 1,400. I have no response to that. Chain Secret Barrel. So that's 28. Chain chain Strike. <laughs> uh, you can't, because you've activated cards with the same name in the chain. Oh, okay. All right, well, I'll set that then. All right. No big deal. I still got this. I'm, I'm um, still dead anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'll still go, I'll go Ring of Destruction on my Morphing Jar. Excellent. And then, uh, uh, so just in case, if you if you oh, have oh, it. just in case, <laughs> a few more cards. Uh, yeah. Accumulated fortune from I'm my fucking cards. dead. Yeah, that's fine. Damn. What all right, fuck? I stand. <laughs> what the fuck? How did this work? <laughs> What the fuck are you playing? Why, like, I get burned. I get chained. I've played that before. I understand. Why do you have scientists in this deck? That's I, like, I just, like, you, I don't think I know what you're actually playing at this point. Maybe I had scientists <laughs> in the deck just to deal with that exact scenario where you have a face down set monster and I summon Bolter. It I worked guess. out, man. I'm just saying my strategy is I guess. <laughs> I guess. You know, maybe I should have had my scientist to deny your morphing jar, which funny enough, I could have done if I thought you had morphing jar set, but I'm going to go second. Uh, I prefer to not let you have one extra card to burn me to death. So let's That's see all right, man. I'll Best definitely luck, take it. Best of luck, Dost. I'll set one. And I will proceed to set the fort, my friend. Jesus Christ. If you have Morphing Jar, that's so bad. Right. Uh, da, da, da. I'll just pass it to you, bud. Go ahead. We'll draw. Hand's looking pretty good. Okay. So if that's Jar, I'm in a lot of trouble. If it's not, what what the fuck else did I see out of you the first game? Scientist. A scientist? <laughs> yeah, I guess I did. I guess that's technically true. I think I got to do this. Oh, the snipe. Give me just a second, duelist. Yeah, what do you got? I've got nothing for the Snipe Hunter. Can I try for the effect? You can pitch for cost for it, yeah. Okay, is it going to resolve? It is going to resolve. What do you want to target? You're set. Okay, go ahead. Come on. Okay, thank God. Okay, all right. It is, wow, that would have been huge. It is Holy the Holy <laughs> shit, thank you. 15. I'll take it, yep. Okay, I'll set one, throw it back. All right, I'll draw. Stand by main. Yep. I will just pass, go ahead. Like that, draw. Anything standby? Nothing standby, you're fine. Main one. All right, let's try to start playing against this. Death Wombat. That's gonna do, that's gonna, uh, I'm gonna chain something, hold on. I'm gonna chain right. Torrential Tribute. Shit. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that, sure. that, that's one card that does it, bro. It's the Death Wombat. Okay. I had them in the side last episode, and I didn't even need them. I guess technically you were on Stealth Burn, and I'm like, if he runs this back deck again, runs this deck back, I said that completely backwards, then I, I don't want to even deal with this. So I'm happy I have these little guys, but when you Torrential me, it's not very good. Uh, that's the end of my turn. Go ahead. I'll draw. Stand by main. Pass. Go ahead. Draw. Uh, luckily for me, I have a second one. Yeah, you got another one. Okay. 16. Yep. Go ahead. Draw. Stand by main. Scientist. Sure. This is the out your Des Wombat. We figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to activate Magical Scientist. I'm going to pay a thousand. Sure. I'm going to summon Ryu Senshi. Okay. Uh, I'll go battle phase two with Ryu Senshi. This does out the Wombat. This is hilarious. I'll take four. And then you'll take another three direct from the scientist. Take another three. Okay. Uh, I'll go main two. I'll set one. I'll set another, and then I'll go to the end phase and send Ryu Senshi. Goes back to the extra deck. Oh, my bad. You're right. Yes. Anything in standby? No, nothing in standby. You're fine. Okay. Uh, pot agreed. Yep. Thinking. Wait, that helps actually, out here? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Uh, now I have to deal with Scientist. I can't deal with Scientist. The nice thing is, whatever you summon off Scientist can't attack me directly. So that's, you know, I'll take it. Now you got set five. Your back row is most likely just a bunch of shit to draw you cards and like accumulated fortune and shit. What do we do? I think I just need to be aggressive. So I'm going to go tomato. Sure. Try to clear the scientist. Sure. You can clear it. I'll take 11. Okay. Uh, we're getting you low. Slowly but surely. Uh, I will pass my turn. Draw. Stand by me. Yep. 
doesn't feel good, but I, I got to start getting cards here, I think. Yeah, yeah, fire those recklesses. Yeah, I'll start with Good Hob and Housekeeping. So chain Link bad. 1. I know it's, fine. it's not great at all. Um, I'll go Chain Link 2, Secret Barrel. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this will be 12. That's fine. I'll go Chain Link 3, Ceasefire. Okay. Chain Link 4, Accumulated Fortune. And then 5, Chain Strike. Sure. So that resolves. So Chain Link 5, I'll take 2,000 from the Chain Strike because it's Chain Level is 5 or Chain Value. You draw 2 from Fortune. I take 5 from the Ceasefire. I take 12 from Secret Barrel. And then you draw one and put one back for housekeeping. Yep. Okay. Cool. We good? Everything goes. Nice here. 36. That was a hefty amount, but it's not, not enough to close out the game. I'll set one, and I'll set one, and I'll just pass. Go ahead, buddy. This man still has monsters. I'll draw. Stand by. Nope, you're good. What the fuck else are you setting in this deck? I saw the same two monsters I saw last game, which is annoying. They've been putting in work. <laughs> they have been. been. They have been. Torrential's gone, so I don't have to worry about that. Only one set. What's like the most damage you could do off of one set? If it's like it's secret barrel, that's what? Seven times two, 1400. I don't think there's anything that's gonna do more than that at the moment. If you're on this deck, it's not unrealistic to think that you have like a desk koala set. That could possibly burn me for a shit ton. So I have to take that into consideration. Could just be like a Sangan to search jar or scientist. Same thing with witch. I don't think you'd be on Stealth Bird in this deck. You don't have any ways to protect it. I'm just going to go for it. I'll pre-mat the Snipe Hunter. Ooh. Um, sure. Snipe effect. Snipe effect's fine, yep. Go after the monster. Yep. Oh, don't do this to me. Don't fucking yes! do this oh, to me. Yes! Oh, man! The first miss in the series! All right, cool. You got to go again? <laughs> We're going again. Yep, that's fine. Monster. Yep. Oh, thank God. Okay. okay, all right. It's a uh, tomato. Tomato. Okay, yeah, tomato's fine, too. Uh, I'll just go after the back row, too, while I'm at it. Yep. Get rid of the smashing ground. I don't think it's anything important. Wow! Lordy, oh, lordy! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> all right, I'll do it again. Sure. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Unbelievable! It does what? not matter. It doesn't matter. You have this game on board. It's, okay, it's, it's right. fucking secret barrel. It's secret barrel. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right. Okay. Game, oh three. game three. Take it to game three. That would have been game so three. silly if it mattered. <laughs>couldn't quite get enough damage to clean that one out but i'm confident game three alex don't worry this chamber I'm deck good i can tell you're not ready for it man you've been sweating this entire match i have been. i have wombat and i don't feel like i'm prepared for this <laughs> which is awful but your scientist's been coming in clutch let's see what you're gonna do yes i'm gonna opt to go second again i'll take my additional card makes sense to me i guess it gives me a little bit of time to set up if that matters good luck to inside this hand don't know if that's gonna be the case all right thank you sir best of luck to you as well I'm gonna go set one and pass. Draw. Very Stand basic by move. It's pretty yep. basic. I'll rev it up a little bit with some greed. Fuck. I did not need to see that. My man, greedy guy. Uh, I will go summon Mystic Tomato. Sure. Battle phase. Yep. Poking in the face down. Sangen. Sangen can get his search. That's fine. Get something. What? I don't know. Six cards in hand that I still have to contend with. It's not ideal. I think Snipe's just the cleanest out. Yep. All right. I'll go for you it. You can get sniping. I'll go main two. I will set one, two, three, and four. And it's your move. It's a lot. I'll draw. Stand by anything. Nope, you're good. Main one. Still two in hand, courtesy of that pot of greed of yours. I think I just want to force this now. Wow. Um, all right. We'll get chain. Doesn't feel great, but. Two jar. Don't have to worry about it then. Three good goblin, four accumulated, five strike. All right, so I take 2,000, you draw two, then you draw one, put one back, and then you draw again. Okay, okay. cool. All right, I'm glad I used my feather duster to take 2,000 damage and be at the exact same place we were. Fantastic. <laughs> yep, yep, it didn't do much. I mean, I know you have torrential and ring and shit, so like, I gotta like try to get rid of that stuff. So we'll go snipe. Yep. Uh, get rid of Disc Commander. Yep. All right. Okay. That okay, was cool. a clutch. That was a clutch hit on Snipe. If you drop Gores, I'm going to cry. 15's fine. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I know you don't have it anyway. Uh, I'll set one and pass. Go ahead. Draw. Stand by main. If you summon Scientist, I swear to fucking God. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what you want from me, man. <laughs> he 
he's the scientist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll go scientist for a thousand. Sure. It's like none of these are really that great, right? I'll go um this dude. Sure. Battle phase, poke in over the snipe hunter. Thank God you didn't go for Senshi. Holy Huge! Oh my God! Oh man! Are you had to... punished Damn! Him. Oh, wow. I wanted to get the fucking Senshi too, but I was like, I need to banish this disc commander. Oh my God! That's tough. That's tough. I deserve that one. All right, I'll go main two. In all fairness, you haven't seen Sack out of me the whole match. Yeah, yeah. I didn't expect you to keep it in either. I, I would not expect you to keep <laughs> Sack in. All right, uh, one, I still two, have to deal with the burn, three. so I don't feel great. Yeah, you, you got a bit to deal with there. Go ahead, buddy. Draw. Anything in standby. No, you're good. So now these are all, like, real back row, unfortunately. They could just be more shit that you just draw stuff, which is also fine. If you have Torrential, it clears your scientist, so that's not, like, the end of the world. You have Ring. That's annoying, but fine. I think I just need to be aggressive here and just try to just beat you before you beat me. So, uh, normal card trooper. I'll Torrential here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, are you triggering card trooper's effect? I would like to. All right, thinking here. You have something for this. And hey, sir, this scientist is gone. Oh, you're right. My bad. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> my fucking my, one sided torrential. My, my ass. My right. bad, Dolist. All right. Um, do you I have will... like a, a chain that you want to start with yes, the card I, trooper? Yes, I do want to start a chain with the card trooper. I'll chain two secret barrel, three reckless greed, and then four accumulated. Okay. So you're going to draw two. Oh, wait. Draw can I do this? Or is this, is this damage step that it happens so I can't do it? No, you torrential. What do you mean damage? Oh, step? you're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, yeah, all right. Yeah, so you draw two, you draw two more, and then you secret barrel me for 400. <laughs> yeah, like nothing, but it's all right. I get to resolve all this, You get right? more cards, which is what's more important. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to draw four cards. And then I draw off the trooper. Yep. My one measly card. All right, so you get all those gone. You're back to five in hand, drawing to six next turn. I've got a back row. Go ahead. All right, I will draw. No, not draw. But you don't draw because you're under reckless. Yes, yeah, so that's very important, reckless. actually. That's fine. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, I'll set. I'll mark that in the chat. Turn one. Okay. One, two. I'll summon New Doria, and I'll just try to sing 12. Run into a second Sakuratsu armor that you, for some reason, kept in this matchup. I'll take the 12. Okay, cool. Uh, I'll go main two, and I'll just pass. Go ahead, buddy. Not happy about it. I'll draw. Normal Prometheus. Yeah, Prometheus is fine. Activate the effect. Sure. I will banish. A lone Sangin. That's fine. So it goes up to 16. Till the end of the turn. Okay. We'll attack. Yep. And then I'll pop it with New Doria. Fine. Uh, second main. That's all I got. Go ahead. All right. During the end phase, I'm going to flip up another copy of Reckless Greed before I get another counter on it. I see. Yeah, and that makes the... sense. Just to get one more phase yep. out of it. Sure. Okay. So I'll draw two. Okay. And then still in the end phase, I'm going to activate Good Goblin Housekeeping. So I get to and draw. This time you actually cards. have a copy. I, of one. I, I get I get the plus. So I'm gonna draw one, two. I gotta put one back. Wait, well, you don't plus. You go even. I do go even. <laughs> thank God, finally. And then I'll put uh, this one back to the bottom. Okay. That's okay. Fine. So I'll attempt to draw. We're back at one counter for reckless greed. Correct. Yeah. So now it's a new reckless cycle. So I'll just put a one in chat again, just to remind. Okay. Us. Cool. I will set one, and I'll just I'll set everything. Non-stop waves uh, of cards here, man. Oh, it's the fucking jar again. I'll pass turn to you, Duelist. Go ahead. Draw. Anything in standby? Nothing in standby. You're good. Okay. Ain't one. So I know that's jar. There's like there's like no chance it's not jar. Uh, I guess there there is a chance it's not. But you also kept two cards in hand last time and didn't do anything with them. So I'm assuming that one of them was the jar. You just wanted to get some draws in first, then set the whole hand, then get the jar value. Especially knowing you're under reckless too. You can't draw anyway. This is tough, Gage. This is really tough. You don't have the immediate out, which I mean is, is kind of exciting for me. I know, I know it's struggling for you here. I've got options. It's just, I don't know what's right. There's too much information that's not available. You've only got one accumulated left. You've got one reckless left, a couple secret barrels. You also put back a card with housekeeping. That could have been the other monster in your hand when you had two cards in hand last turn. Just so you could set your whole hand. True nade. Thinking. Oh, I bet you are. I'll chain poison of the old man and I will- Which effect? I'll burn you for eight. Anything else? Nothing else, this resolves. Sure, so I'll take eight. Everything goes back. Wombat. Yep. Uh, before I do this, I'm going to set my hand. Tack. Alex, you had the right call that it was a jar, but you didn't consider which jar it could be. 
<laughs> this is the first time you're flipping up in the progression Fuck series history. Off! It's not Fiber Fuck Jar! Oh, it's all going back, no. baby! It's all going back! Everything on the hand field and graveyard, and we both draw five. That's that's gotta be fine, right? <laughs> Can't do anything. Yes, oh sir. my god. Alright, hard reset. That's it. I what? feel like I had the right idea if it was morphing jar, but Fortunately, there's not much else I could do. Put all of them back. Let's hope your fresh hand of five can uh, get you out of this situation, bro. I'm getting five good <laughs> new ones, too. I was about to say, it's not looking great. Man, you think they would have had like a resolve card option <laughs> for Fiber Jar? You would think so, right? <laughs> In solo mode, there's like the reset button. That would just, they just have to integrate that. Now, uh, funny enough, my Sangan doesn't go back because it's not banished cards. Oh, it's not. Yeah, it's not. All right. <laughs> All right. So and then... I, my deck is one card thinner. I'll take five off the top. And I will as well. I forgot you fucking have this thing. All right. Second main. I already summoned because I summoned uh, Mr. Wombat. So I'm just going to throw down two and over to you. All right. I will not draw. That's my second turn on Reckless. Grade. Second on Reckless. Yep. Yep. One, two, three, four. Go ahead, buddy. Anything it's been entertaining. Uh, we'll draw. Standby. Nothing in standby. You're fine. Oh, that's a relief, I guess. Okay. Um, the hell do I do now? You've got four cards. I, I do have cards, yeah. Great observation. I got, I got a few of those. <laughs> this is really tough. This is really, really tough. This has been, <laughs> this has been mm. a good, this has been a good match so far. Actually. This has been, yeah, it has been. Uh, judging by the way our decks looked at the beginning of this, I don't think people thought that was probably <laughs> going to be the case. Mm, I hate this. I really fucking hate this. Wombat. Yeah, wombat's fine. Duster. Okay. Um, chain link two, poison. I'll gain twelve. Three secret barrel for no damage. Uh, and then just so you can get to the accumulated yeah four and then five accumulated yes yeah, so this does work because this counts as this is the first time the chain is seeing accumulated so this does yep. work uh just for anyone who is curious why this works now and doesn't work the way gage did it earlier poison coming in clutch for with a gain 12 it's not bad it's not bad uh that is fine i have no response okay so i'll draw four cards double fucking accumulated that's huge Okay, um, Secret Barrel will burn you for zero damage and I will gain 1,200 life points. See, this is, now you can see why I was thinking so hard about this because I was weighing if I duster before summoning Wombat, uh, like what happens versus mm -hmm. if I drop Wombat first before dustering and also the consequences of if you kill the Wombat with like a Torrential or something. So it was a really hard decision to make and I guess I, fortunately, it didn't like ruin me, but we'll see, this is gone. Oh, my bad, I'm sorry. You're good. Uh, 16. Yep, I'm going to take it. Yeah, Poison paying for the uh, Wombat hit here, which is not bad for uh, you. Uh, that's all I got. Go ahead. I'll draw. Stand by you me. You got a whole grip. You're no longer under Reckless. Not yeah. looking good. I got a gang of cards here. I'll start with the way to clear Wombat, Dark Hole. That'll do it. Okay. I will summon Witch of the Black Forest. Sure. Battle phase, 11. I think I have to sack this. Can't really afford yep. it. Yep, and I will get my search off of Witch. Off of the Black Forest, I will grab... I'll pick up a coffee of Morphing Jar. Fuck, great. Fantastic. <laughs> I know, you're right, right, exciting. Uh, I'll set one, two, three. Go ahead. Draw. Anything in standby? No, you're good. Okay, so I know you have Jar. It's annoying, but there isn't a ton I can do about that. Uh, we will go Tomato. Sure. Try for 14. Yeah, I'll take it. Where do you? Okay. Draw. Stand by main. Yeah. All right, I'll set and I'll pass. Presumably that's the Jar. I hate the fiber jar shuffles itself back. We could just fucking fiber jar reset, but there's no way to do that. <laughs> uh, as funny as it would be. Anything in standby? No, you're good. Really don't want to give you more cards, but I don't really think there's like that much of a choice. All right, uh, let's try for a new fella. Normal black salvo. That card is sick. I realistically think you don't have it here though. So uh, I think this is game. All right, so on the summon of black salvo, I'll go ceasefire. That's a thousand. It's 15 if I flip this up. Oh, if you flip, that's true. He counts yours as well. Uh, chain Secret Barrel. That is another 1,000 because I have five. And then Chain Link 3 Strike. So that is 12. So that's... 37? 32. No, it's not. Oh, no, because of the ceasefire is an extra five. Yeah. Is that it? 
<laughs> I'm the fool here. Yeah, you're yep. looking like a fool. That it? Oh my! It. What okay. is this face down? Let me see what this is. It was a it was a limit reverse, which I I had the disc commander in hand, but I wasn't getting anything. Back, yep, so, yep, yeah. That was okay. That was actually a nail biter, bro. Like <laughs> like unironically, that so, was really close. Here's here's what I was thinking, and uh, so my plan was I was gonna sink these off into Dark Strike Fighter, which I pulled this episode. Ooh, all right. And then the plan was, if this was Morphing Jar, I was gonna try to hit premature burial and try to like burn you out before my turn ended because dark strike fighters pre errata so i could actually just tribute my whole field yep you can tribute and, himself too yeah so if i hit a premature burial i had limit reverse to get the disc commander which this is only one star but it lets me draw two so i possibly get a little bit deeper i was thinking if i could just burn you before you have the chance to do more to me then maybe that's like the hope here but uh i, I think that was a long shot and i was really grasping at straws but i don't even think i was gonna out this fool in all honesty <laughs> yeah i I saw that you can't be um, killed by battle. I drew it for turn and then I immediately set it and then thank God you let me shuffle it back because it would have looked really bad if it wasn't like you would have been able to tell it wasn't the, it wasn't the jar. But I think this full like it's the same thing as Spirit Reaper, right? I didn't think you have like really an efficient out to deal with it. So like just sitting on it a few turns would allow me to like live. But um realistically this last turn going into it, I there was two ways to win. It's like either you put a monster on the board like you did or even if you just started to chain, I would have exactly enough with uh, chain strike to be able to kill you. So Yeah. And there the problem was I had no other way to really just deal with the rest of your back row and so it's unfortunate i i, I did draw the pre-mat so i guess yep. i had the right idea i don't think i would have had enough stars though i guess i could have sacked the, the fighter off let me let me do some math here so fighter is seven so he's times two so that's 14 i could have brought him back to do 28 and then disc commander is also one but that's only an extra 200 so i'm just like a little off mm -hmm. unfortunately from being able to just burn you with the strike fighter uh maybe there's a way to do the math a little bit differently but uh that would have been very close that would have been very close but i i love how I had the wombats in the side and it was not good enough to beat this that is you had the out every single time whether it was scientist whether it was dark hole whether it was just anything i couldn't keep the uh, torrential. torrential i just could yeah. not keep the fucking wombat alive to save my life and i had i had three of them i had three I'm, of the fuckers i'm surprised like, you kept them in that was the one thing it's like i hadn't played a burn strategy like ever right and you played the last like, episode what are you, what talking, what are you about? talking about burn i literally played harpy last episode stealth bird. oh i mean I, if you want if you want to get real picky yeah i guess i played stealth Real picky. That was like yeah. how we win. All right. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. But but this one was just full outburn, like with everything, like yeah, all the bells yeah. and whistles. So I, I'm really surprised you had anything to deal with it, actually. Yeah. I really didn't have a lot besides Wombat, which again, I had Wombat in the side from last episode. I usually build my deck in the same tab that I do in the previous episode. So I just like, I'll just keep them in there, whatever. But aside from that, I just had to change my deck up because I had like Krebons and shit and like those pay life points. Uh, I had Instant Fusion in here. I was playing just like sort of like a Dark Synchro Turtle deck which is you know in theory kind of neat but against this i just have like basically zero chance mm -hmm. and yeah i just had to take out i mean i brought in like my back row removal just to like try to interrupt you like end phase dust can snipe a back row at the very least so that technically gives me more time in theory the reason the sacks came in so i actually wasn't even maining these i had these in the board i noticed you were just attacking over my fucking shit with uh scientists and i'm like all right i'm yeah. just gonna sack Retsu armor to protect them because it worked it I worked i didn't summon ryu <laughs> i didn't summon ryu it worked yeah so. yeah yeah so uh, I guess that worked, but that was honestly everything else I could have had in place of Saku wasn't going to do me any good anyway. So mm -hmm. I figured this could have at least possibly won me the game if you like misfired with uh, scientists, which you did. And uh, but it wasn't enough to win the game. Congrats, buddy. You deserve this one because I was not ready for this in the slightest. I actually know that's not true. I was ready for this in the slightest and I still lost. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking, bro. You got some pretty good pulls, though. Dark Strike Fighter, Black Salvo is really good with your Decoichis. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, what else Salvo's did you get? Cool. Anything else big from Crimson Crisis? So I actually used a redoor ticket since I have, oh. like, fucking seven. Yeah, uh, yeah, you got my a few. First, my first set of pulls, I didn't get Gale at all. And yeah. I feel like Gale is just essential for almost any deck outside of like just playing Blackwing period. And so I'm like, I just got to spin for Gale at the very least. And so my hollow pulls the first time around, I got like a hyper psychic blaster and assault mode hyper psychic blaster. Nice. This time around, I got good cards like Black Salvo and Dark Strike Fighter. I ended off with the ghost rare assault mode uh, red dragon archfiend, which is kind of cool too. Cool. But definitely. And I got the one Gale as well, which was in this deck too. You just never really had a chance to see it. So uh, yeah, I just 
just wanted to play just like a dark good stuff deck and uh my crimson crisis pulls were significantly better and i think having the gale especially because we don't get gale reprinted for a while yeah. i figured it was going to be important especially because you know black wings are right around the corner so i need to uh reassemble the forces if you will mm -hmm. what about it, you black uh, the thing with gale too is like i made it a point where i needed to get gale as well i did end up getting my copy of it it's like really important nice. like now just being able to topple over like anything you put resources into it's a normal summon that have something like that's sick stardust dragon yeah stardust dragon is one of the main things that i would be able to topple over for free uh but yeah. like you said it is genuinely just one of the best tuners out in the game right now in so i game. wanted to like pick it up and make sure i got it i did get my blackwing gale i also got a debris dragon and an arcanite magician which is pretty cool that's so. kind of cool i got two debris dragons i think i got one on the first run and i got two on the second run so Not bad. i have that yeah i don't think i got any last season so it's cool that i've got access to that if i need to but yeah no my my second pulls when you see them they are significantly better and you can rest easy my wheel this episode sucked i got the wild card rare for fucking Ooh, duelist pack you say so my uh, fine good worthless geez, yeah. justice <laughs> <laughs> Our wheels lately for winning episodes have been ass. <laughs> I know. Thank God, though. Some of the ones, like, I feel like really right now, if we get a snatch deal or we get a ban ticket, it changes yeah. everything, bro. I'm for still, I pulled those Gladiator to be Sam Knights today, and I'm like, if only, if only I had I best I gotta tell you, I'm nervous because, like, if you even get a wild card, you could possibly pull, like, an Armor Master from, like, this set. Uh, which is, you know, if you want to play Black Wings with Raging Battle, if you get the pulls for it, that's something you could do. So I was really hoping to win just for that alone, potentially. Uh, but here we are uh, in the loser circle. But uh, well, this was, I think, a, a ridiculous match, regardless of the outcome. I think either of us would have been happy with how this one turned out. Oh, yeah. And like I said, man, I didn't need the free ban. It looks like we're back on even footing again. We're back on even footing again. I'm excited to see what we're going to bring next time, because next time, I believe, is Gold Series 3, as a matter of fact. And that's Monarchs and Six Sams. And and uh, we've got some fun stuff we could possibly cook up with those two decks. It's a big one. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout out to Shout1317, TMZ0X3, Moto, MBT Play, Medulce, Cameron Smith, Pony, Stark, Part 2, The Synchro Guy, Dan the Manhoban, Phoenix, The Immortal, I Ship, MBT, and Simo, Draconic, Jordan Coons, Iron Bladesman, Jesse Wood, Chris Hood, Valen Jackson, Dylan Hunter, Cody, Brett's Extremely Vulgar Man, Little Fade Leaf, Brody Eastwood, Carlos DT, Flannel Daddy, Hornet, Indian to Tai Show, TC Gaming, thanks for the sleeves, Dad, Max, Matthew Brady, Twinkle Muncher, Eater of Crayons, Luabon, Yodabon, Helios 515, Simo's Chaos Cooking Draft, Simping for Simo, Cheeks McLapperty, Stolfin Amethyst, Dalton, LG MBTQ, Nim Noodle, Mallow Branch of the Burning Tunnels, Wonder Waffle, Skull Servant, and the Wandering Doomed or Boyfriends, MBT Cancel by All Community Soon, Cancel by All Committee Soon, Cancel by All Players Soon, All Yus, Unis the Bus, The Undertaker versus Simo and MBT, Shrugs X, The Crystal Beast Enthusiast, ITF, and Corvain. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.